So, <laughs> we're live once again. Another episode more about music. I was asked yesterday's podcast to do more music. And I ended yesterday's show with the Scientology music video and stuff. And let me tell you, it was really, (laughs) it was really a weird music video. I mean, it kind of fits the religion, which is Scientology is a weird, strange religion. I mean, the whole concept of believing in the idea of Xenu, who is a galactic warrior who captures aliens, freezes them, drops them over a volcano. They break out of the frozen box that they were in and inhabit cave people. (laughs) And through the years, people have to like go through tests and levels and, you know, get to enlightenment is the idea. And when you look at it, like, they say, like, the pyramid, you have to go up and up and up and up and up to be clear. It's kind of like, isn't it a pyramid scheme? (laughs) And, um, one thing that's kind of been... Sorry about that. Been all over the news. Is people wanting to impeach Donald Trump. Again. <laughs> it's like, I am so tired of that. So. Dumb. Anyway. Sorry, I had to find the videos and stuff. So anyway. I sort of look at this whole... Scientology... Music... (laughs) <laughs> just it's so fucked up and stuff and you look at these whole videos it's it's propaganda is what it is and the acting looks atrocious. Like in this music video, 1993, starts with me. The teacher woman looks like a walrus. <laughs> like, you just look at her and you're like, what the fuck drugs have you been on? Because you, you look at it as an outsider. At these videos and stuff. You look at it and you're like. What am I looking at? What am I watching? What is this? And you sort of sit there and you realize. Oh shit it's a cult video. (laughs) So. let's, Let's go back. Let's go back into the time how this religion started. I mean, cult. L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron Hubbard was born March 13th, 1911 in Teton, Nebraska. 
The man's been married three times, had seven children, holy shit, including his son L. Ron Hubbard Jr., who is against his father's organization, including being sued by Mary's, his stepmother, Mary Sue Hubbard, for $5 million. It's kind of crazy, though. Including L. Ron Hubbard Jr.'s grandson, Jamie DeWolf. Even spoke out against Scientology. When you look at, when you kind of research, research Scientology and stuff, and I... I sort of look at it as kind of like this fascination, like, you know, you, he, I mean, he was a very shitty writer, though. <laughs> he wasn't really good at Scientology, writing science fiction. But he took the idea of Dianetics and, you know, which was, which started out as a sci-fi novel, then it became a book of religion. <laughs> and you sort of like look at it and you go like you really couldn't sell the book as a sort of a I had to turn the fan on. I had to close my window because the neighbors are loud. <laughs> it's, yeah. So Anyway, I <clears throat> I look at the book. I one time found it. It was no, it wasn't Dianetics. It was um, Battlefield Earth, which became a film. And that film is well, I've watched it once. It was a really boring fucking film. And it was very dumb. It was a very dumb film. My neighbors are loud too. I know, right? Somehow we get the crazy loud neighbors. I still miss the neighbors that hit the trash can. They went like fucking flying down the road. Just by point of impact. Boom! It was just... It was really cool though. I mean, the trash can just like laid in the middle of the road like a crime scene victim. (laughs) Um, Battlefield Earth. I might as well do a review of it. It was a very bad, bad film. It got to the point where, like, John Travolta was embarrassed. Like, um, you know, David Miscavige, who is the current president, El Presidente of Scientology. Like, praised the film before it got released saying like this is the greatest film that's ever been made it's gonna win Oscars it's gonna win everything and when it came out people were like what the fuck was that (laughs) it's kind of crazy though because it's like set in the year 3000 and this film came out in 2000 (laughs) it's just It's it's a crazy film. I mean, I mean, you get to see John Travolta wear dreadlocks, which is kind of cool. I mean, he went from Vinny Barbarino to Grease Lightning to this film. <laughs> I mean, Travolta is a great actor. Like, I know a lot of people say like he's a weird, kooky person. Which I believe he is. I just don't understand his commitment to Scientology. Because I firmly believe Scientology killed his son. 
Like his son had autism. And it's really fucking weird how he is now. It's it's really weird because he... It's almost like you don't see him acknowledging his son's death. And... It's it's crazy though. Like his son Jeff died at the age of sixteen in two thousand nine in the Bahamas. Travolta confirmed the speculation that his son had autism after suffering regular seizures and stuff. It's it's kind of weird. It's it's not weird, it's flat out fucking bizarre. Like, his son was under the caretakers, and some people believed that the people that were the caretakers of him were people in Scientology. And, like, Travolta dropped the charges, credited his immediate family in Scientology for helping him survive the death of his son by moving forward with his film career. It's like... You sort of like pause it. You're like, pause it. How do you move forward after something you created died? You know? Like, how do you sort of go like, well, gotta move on. It's bizarre. Like, Scientology believes everyone on Earth is inhabited by alien beings in the body. And L. Ron Hubbard, the craziest motherfucker on the planet, one believes that he has the answers how to almost exercise the beings in, out of your body. How the fuck is that even logical? (laughs) And people, you know, they believe like past lives is, you know, your past life, you're living through it. And it's like, like if you have dreams of something, like you're in a battlefield in World War II, that is your past life, according to Scientology. I don't know how the fuck that's real. (laughs) Like, any time I have dreams, I dream I'm Batman. Is, it, is that part of something? I don't know. I believe in a multiverse, like a multiple Earths and, Earths and all that. I believe in a multiverse somewhere. I'm Batman. I believe in that. You know. I know it's weird, though. People are like, you're a Christian. Well, I am, but I also believe in something really cool, like the multiverse. I mean, you really can't explain what goes on in this earth. (laughs) You really can't. It's just... You are Catwoman. (laughs) I... It just... it. You have to watch Battlefield Earth. You... I highly recommend it. Because, I mean, if I had to be tortured by sitting through that fucking film for two hours... Somebody has to join me. Because <laughs> it is like the worst film ever. It's kind of funny though because it's like... Um, somewhere Joaquin Phoenix talked about it. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Um... Well, I'm trying to find it somewhere. Um, I 